this Tuesday is my opening in the Arc One Gallery, Melbourne. You know, Melbourne is a little bit more culture and more interesting. It's a very different the city, you know. Uh, I think I'm very lucky I came to Australia and they gave me many, many things. This exhibition is very colorful, you know. I really hope that people like my works. It's all of my recent work. I think it should be very interesting. Yes, I was born in the Beijing, um, 1957. My family is uh, quite uh, art families because my father is a Beijing opera singer. I think this is a very important influence to me. In 1988, uh, we three artists uh, received the invitation from the School of Art in Hobart. But when we arrived to the Australia, we feel, oh, this is very, very different. Very small cities, but very beautiful. And I think, oh, maybe I should be migration to the Australia because I like it here. The reason I settled in Sydney is because Sydney I have the friends here. Sometimes I came to the Chinatown to enjoy the meal there and meet my friends. I've been to many Chinatowns and uh, Sydney Chinatown may be the best uh, the Chinatown on the, the world. And also I like new towns. My studio been there for 15 years. I are working and living in new towns. This is a very old building, but very quiet. I can concentrate doing the my artworks. I think they had the different layers. Firstly, my work is very humorous. Second way, it's very knowledgeable. Before my works, you know, in China, it's very Chinese because my work use a lot of the gray colors because Beijing is very gray colors. Australia is totally different. The color is very shining. Sydney has a lot of the, the water around it. So, you know, water can be give you many different uh, feelings and uh, meanings. That's why you can look in my painting, so the water is getting bigger and bigger. I think this is uh, the Australian influence of my art. I think after 10 years, I'm really concerned about Australian political things like immigration situation, refugee situations. I think if you're living in this area, you must do things about Australia. I did a big solo show in the Powerhouse Museum called Another Histories. This show is very unusual shows, talking about a Chinese great sailor discovered Australians before the Captain Cook gave the people to think in different history about Australians. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, you know, while working on the King Street, uh, I always kind of saw some artists, you know, working on the street, make their own pictures, make the cities more enjoyable. In Australia, so, you know, artists, uh, it's very free. You can do what you want to do. Since I lived in Australia for 20 years, uh, just developed my ideas. I had big work uh, permanently hanging in the 700 Collins Street. Every time I go there, to look, oh, my work still there. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> I use my Chinese eyes to create Australian stories. That's why my art is popular for the Australian audience. Yeah, I'm a little bit proud <laughs> about myself. <laughs> mm. No, it's a wonderful place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Australia, I just feel everything is very good. Just so quiet here. Sometimes just feel too lonely here. My wife and the daughter living in Beijing, they complain, you know, yeah, sometimes I should stay <laughs> with my wife and the daughters. Since I arrived to Australia, it always kept me busy. I just never stopped. I'm very happy this time, you know, in Arc 1. Yeah, a little bit surprised. Before my opening, not uh, many people like today. Arc 1 was celebrating the joy of the moment. Yeah, I think Australia gave me a very good chance. I got a very good life here. My daughter was born here, I had a lot of friends. I did what I want in Australia. Yeah, this is my life, you know, all for the, for the art.